Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show, a new kind of spiritual talk show. Broadcast on FM radio, internet websites, and print publications. I am well known for that celebrity interview. Interviews that we conduct in studio, by telephone, and by satellite with today's most fascinating people. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you on ValderBeebeShow.com. Good day. This is Valder in Dallas. Valder, Susan, hello there. Well, Susan Keating, I want to thank you once again for joining us. And my audience loves it when we do a redo. And I get to do a redo with you because you've got great information. Oh, thank you. Okay, what's the average holiday spending this year? The average holiday spending is a little over $900. Okay, well, that's a lot for me. Maybe other people are comfortable with that. But what about my daughter who just finished uh, getting her master's at SMU, who's got a lot of debt? Well, what is that group doing? Well, first of all, congratulations for your daughter graduating. Uh, unfortunately, if she's carrying debt, uh, that's something that she's going to need to think through and plan for. So I would just say going into the holiday season, be cognizant of the fact that you have or she has student debt uh, and make a plan about how much to spend on holiday related items versus what each borrower can do to sort of stay in control of their student debt. Okay, so student loan, we're going to assume that What's the, do you have an average on people who are graduating now? Are they graduating with a lot of debt? Well, they are. The average is now about $37,000, which is a 6% increase over last year. But really, if we look across the country, uh, we're, we see the student debt growing at an alarming pace. There are 43 million borrowers who owe $1.4 trillion in student debt. Today I'm speaking with Susan Keating. She's the President and Chief Executive Officer of the National Foundation of Credit Counseling. So if you had to hear in, you had an opportunity to hear in part one, we thought this subject was really important. We just want to make sure we drive this point home about student loan and debt. What more do we need to know about the, this horrific burden that people are carrying, Susan? Well, I would just say many people are past due on their loans. Uh, many are defaulting, and in fact, we have 8 million people uh, that are defaulting on their loans currently, and there are some real serious consequences of these things. For In fact, uh, you know, people can, borrowers can get sued. They can have future wages garnished, uh, tax returns held back. You know, I mean, there, there are all kinds of things that can happen, but even in terms of future lifestyle, uh, if your credit score is impacted, if your past due and, and all of that sort of thing may have difficulty buying homes, getting access to credit generally, buying cars, and even getting employed. I've got a Facebook question for you this time. This will be a, a, a little bit different take. They want to know that, uh, well, this was my question, so we can roll it up into that. Okay. You know, when you come home for holidays, you want to be a part of the gift giving. How do you do that with that student debt? That's a good question. Well, you know, it's a great question, and the answer has to be have a plan. Um, obviously, the holidays are an important time, and we want it to be happy and all that sort of thing. But the way to sort of manage this is put a plan together, control the spending, and in fact, one of the greatest gifts that borrowers can give themselves is to take a portion of what they might just spend on holiday gifts and make an additional payment to their student loan. Uh, again, I think having a healthy and uh, sort of just healthier approach to all of this is critically important given the alarming uh, debt levels and the concerns and the potential consequences. I think parents would think that's very responsible whether the parent carries the debt or not. They think that's a very good choice. Susan, online, is there a place that my audience can go and get some information? I didn't ask you that the first time. Absolutely. Studentloanhelp.org. 
and a phone number, 877-406-6322. Suzanne Keating, I want to thank you so much, and thanks for doing another interview with us because we think this is an important topic. Thank, thank you very you. much, and happy holiday. Thank you so much.